The winning combination to achieve a strong and lean physique is by incorporating mindful movements that work your muscles from the inside out. Now this workout integrates Pilates exercises along with yoga poses to develop strength, length, and muscular stabilization while embracing the mind, body, and spirit connection. Now I'll go through a series of exercises that have Pilates exercises followed by a yoga pose. Now the Pilates exercises, I'd like you to aim for eight to 10 repetitions and then you will follow it by a yoga pose that you hold for around 10 to 30 seconds. And one more thing, when you're performing Pilates exercises, be mindful of your alignment, your breath, and your core control as you think about that through every single exercise that you perform. Now let's get moving. For our setup, you'll have your incline at a low level and no attachments are connected. So our first exercise is opposition elbow and knee followed by a down dog pedal and a cat cow stretch. So you'll come to face the tower in a quadruped position. Make sure your shoulders are on top of your wrists, hips on top of your knees. Draw your abdominals in, shoulders are retracted, and you'll extend the arm and the opposite leg. Try to keep your body square as you bring the elbow towards the knee, drawing your navel in, and then extending your arm and leg in opposition. Draw it in, and then exhale out. So each time you really wanna exhale that breath, draw your navel in, Work your muscles in opposition. You'll perform the exercise on both sides. Once you're complete, tuck your toes at the very bottom, hands are at the very top of your glide board, shift your hips up and back into a down dog. And then you'll start to pedal your feet, feeling the stretch coming down through your hips, through your calves. You can twist, just explore the movement so that you can feel where your body needs it. And then you'll drop your knees into a cat cow. So we arch the back, draw the shoulders back, and then tuck your chin and then push your thumbs up and away. And you'll just do this a few times, going back and forth through the movement. And then you'll move on to the next exercise. Our next combination is a crescent lunge and repeater followed by a twisted warrior and triangle. So you'll come to the very bottom of your glide board, place one foot onto the glide board, hands can either be on your hips or out in front of you, wherever you feel more balanced. You'll open up, drop down into a reverse lunge, extend out through the back knee, keep your hips square, and then come on back up. So you'll lower down, extend the leg, keeping the chest lifted, working on your balance. Once you've done eight to 10 reps, you'll hold it at the very bottom for repeaters. Bringing the knee in and out, keeping your body still, really working through your glutes. And then you'll extend and go right into your twisted warrior. So the hand can come down to the floor on your fingertips, flat hand, or if you have a yoga block, you can place it to lift the floor and help your flexibility. If you're thinking about turning your chest in towards the knee, hold this for a few seconds, and then gently come up. You'll turn around, keeping the glide board open, point your toes towards the tower, feet on the floor or angled towards the bottom rail, and you'll shift into triangle pose. So you're really stretching through your inner thighs, your outer thighs, rotating through your waistline, and then you'll repeat the same combination on the other side. Our next combination is a single leg stretch followed by a supine hamstring and twist. So come into a supine position on your glide board, draw your knees into your chest just to listen up through your back. Then you'll extend one leg up and the other leg out. Get a gentle pull, either on your calf, maybe behind the knee, or on your hamstring, depending on your flexibility. You'll lift your chest up so that you are utilizing your abdominals, and then you'll switch. Now the leg that is extended, you are activating it as well. So you're just going through a stretching motion, keeping those legs as straight as possible, trying to draw the knee towards your nose, activate your abs the entire time. Once you've done eight to 10 reps, you'll hold one leg up, take the leg that's extended, Place it on the bottom rail and extend the leg. Feel the hamstring stretch as you extend. <sighs> Take a nice deep breath. Bend the knee, place your hand on top, hold onto your glide board so that you have balance, you don't fall off, and rotate to the side to feel the twist. And then you'll go to the other side, same thing. Other leg goes down, the other leg extends. Feel the hamstring stretch, walk your hands up or down depending on your flexibility. You'll bend the knee, hold onto your glide board, Rotate and twist away. It's a really nice stretch for your core, for your hamstrings, and your entire body. 
Our next combination stays in the same position as the exercise previously. You'll have your feet both at the very bottom base with your glide board open. This is our roll down into a bridge or a reverse plank. So our knees are slightly bent to start. Allow your spine to articulate one bone at a time as you roll down to the glide board. The arms extend out from your chest. Tuck your chin to your chest and we reverse it as we roll back up, straighten the legs and reach towards your toes. Stack your spine back up to seated and you repeat the same thing. Now your goal is to keep those legs extended as you roll down one bone at a time. You can reach out towards the glide board. Just make sure that your core stays in tight and there's no arching. So we roll up and then reach all the way down. You'll facilitate that movement of your spine, activation of your core, and you'll feel some strength as well as length in the back of your hands, hamstrings and your spine. Once you're done with that, you'll close the glide board, place your feet on top, your head rests down, and you'll lift your hips up into bridge. Now you can walk your hands underneath to feel that stretch, opening up through your chest, through your shoulders, activating through your glutes, make sure that your toes are loose, and all the weight is pressing, driving down through the heels. Now, if you would like to challenge yourself a little bit more, you can also take that into a reverse plank or a reverse bridge by lifting up through the hips and extending out through those arms, drawing them back. And our last combination is a rollover followed by a seated twist or the wild thing. So you're going to face your tower for this one. Sit at the very top of your glide board, cup your hands onto that padded cushion, lie down onto your spine. So right from here, you will start with the knees bent, and as we progress, you can start to extend the legs as long as you have that strength in your core and the flexibility as well. So you'll lift up through your lower spine, drawing your knees in towards your nose, extend the legs overhead and reaching outward, not towards the floor, but out and back. Open the legs about shoulder distance, flex your feet, and then contract your thighs, contract your abdominals, and then roll your spine down one bone at a time and then draw your legs together, keeping your spine activated and imprinted on your total gem. So you'll do it again, bending the knees in, knees toward your nose, extend the legs out, open, flex your feet, articulate the spine back down, slowly as you reach those heels toward your tower, and then if you'd like to advance it, you'll keep those legs straight. So the legs come up and reach over Open the legs, flex your feet, and then slowly roll the spine back down. So as you can see, it's a very precise movement. You wanna make sure that you are keeping your core engaged the entire time. Really activate through your legs, draw your abdominals in as you articulate the spine back down. And then whenever you have performed your eight to 10 reps, have your hands underneath, roll yourself back up, and you'll take it into a seated twist. So the hands will come to the outside of the knee, rotate away, look over through the back shoulder, and then you'll do the other side. Hold this for 10 to 30 seconds. If you'd like to advance it, your hand will come down. You can go into a modified weld thing. So the hips will bridge up, and then you'll come back down and do the other side. So it's a really nice way to open up through the shoulders, and it's a nice way to give your body some functional strength movement through your wrist. Try to incorporate these Pilates and yoga combinations in your next workout, and you will see why it's the winning combination to achieve your ultimate physique, especially on your total gym. 